BF and the WBO, which doesn't cater for it. But just an interesting little aside there, although in reality, if a fighter goes down three times in a round, the chances are that the referee will stop the fight. McDonald being introduced to a sizable crowd. Despite being a challenger, it's a new way he was announced second. It's a long wait for these two, isn't it? The nerves must be jangling. Yeah, it certainly is a long wait. Nui, over 10 minutes ago, walking to the ring. So it is a long time before starting off. These guys will both want to be getting it on right now. McDonald's been doing the right thing, just keeping warm, keeping shadow boxing, keep moving. And Nui looks very focused as well, doesn't he? I mean, this really could be explosive right from the opening bell. Okay, guys, I give you introduction in the dressing room. So, final instructions from Lewis Papon, and we are ready. The opening stage is going to be absolutely critical here. We expect Inoue to come out quick, to come out firing. Matt touched on it in the studio, that jab of McDonald, the height advantage, the reach advantage that comes with it. That jab has got to be a snappy, piercing jab. He's got to be able to try and keep a new way off him. Yeah, he really has got to utilise all the skills, all the attributes that he's got. Jamie McDonnell, he needs to keep this long. He needs to work everything off the jab. Nice movement from side to side. Keep that head moving. We know a new way he's going to look to get on the inside. Really does double up well, well to the hooks, to the head and the body a new way. Wax reviver hand, so... This is the tactics that we need to see from McDonald, just keeping it long. Looking for that right hand, looking for the left of the body as well early on. That's a danger shot for a new way. McDonald just taking the weight back into the ropes there, just dropping those elbows on that left hand. Yeah, I think McDonald may have felt the weight of a couple of those body shots there. A new way rushed in, didn't he? And really switched those attacks downstairs. And I think McDonald felt that. Stepped up from super flyweight in the way he just couldn't make that weight any longer He wouldn't have left that division unless he absolutely had to given all the heat and the buzz that there is Grounded at the moment heavy left hand seemed to catch McDonald high on the head almost on the top of the head there And his legs seem a little bit shaky here a minute and a half into the first round and McDonald goes over from the left hand to the body in the way Raises a fist in salute to the crowd at ringside. McDonald was in his own corner there, in that red corner. Dave McDonald communicating with him. He's got to get through this opening round. He's got a minute left. Retreats to the ropes immediately. And Nui looking to tee off with that right hand left hand. And McDonald sags into the ropes again. And Luis Pabon, the referee, has jumped in and waved this off inside the first round. Jamie McDonald has been blown away by Noah in Nui. He's been slain by the monster, and that was exactly what we were hoping that we wouldn't see. But that left hand high on the head got him going, and then with just over a minute left, Spencer, you feared the worst. Yeah, caught cold, wasn't it? And that's what we did fear in Nui. We knew it was going to start fast. He'd come flying out, started switching the hooks to the body and the head. The first hook that landed off, uh, McDonald really felt the weight off to the body, and then the hook landed high on the head. His legs didn't look quite right, McDonnell. He went over, and when he got up, you could tell the senses still weren't together. The legs were all over the place. He was trying to pull himself back together, but Anoue just jumped on him, really threw a barrage of punches, and the referee had no choice to, to jump in there. Great performance from Anoue, but really got a feel for McDonnell. Just caught cold. Well, Anoue is 
a terrific fighter. We know that he's a world champion, a third separate weight division now, but we must talk about the weight. He just can't do it anymore, can he, Bantamweight McDonald? No, I've got to say, I saw him at the weigh-in yesterday. Um, I thought he looked terrible at the weigh-in yesterday. You, you could see that he clearly stripped down. He looked totally different here this evening. Um, you know, he looked like he'd, he, he'd put on a substantial amount of weight. I think he put on 26 plus pounds and you could see that in his face but at the weigh-in he did look terrible and um i think the effects of that showed there the punch resistancy wasn't there as soon as he got caught with the first jab we see his legs dip every shot really that he got hit with we see that it that was having the effects of now that is really down to making the weight andy it really is because when you're when you're so drained down to make that weight you feel every shot it's like getting hit with a hammer you feel the jabs you feel the hooks and we could see that in the performance there from mcdonald i think that you know i think the scales may have beat him a little bit there listen he was talking about moving up over a year ago he was talking about moving up to super bantamweight he's very tall here we see the end of the contest there was a hook to the head and then the barrage of punches coming in and the referee waved it off as mcdonald was going down from another angle we see the shot there we see the chin was up in the air from mcdonald as well that right hand took something out of him we see him sagging on the ropes a barrage of punches from an away he was never going to stop and the referee rightly waving it off there and there we see the phenomenal punching power from an away and he was really out of his depth here this evening mcdonald but as i was saying and talking about i think a lot of that was down to making the weight and and as I said, he was trying, he's been struggling for over a year now. And maybe a move up to Super Bantamweight is inevitable now. Well, he's distressed in the corner there. He thought that he could do it one more time. He could go to the well one more time at 118 pounds. It hasn't proved to be the case, but we will be seeing plenty more of this man. And soon, I'm sure, as well. We were told by Callis Sowland that he'd all but signed up for the World Boxing Super Series. A new way. We know that Manny Rodriguez is in it, Zlani Tete is in it, Ryan Burnett is in it we'll have to wait and see what is next for mcdonald if he's going to continue then he will need to step up of course to super banter